My name is Joseph P. Smith, and I'm a criminal defense attorney serving clients throughout the state of California and all the federal courts. Uh, there's a topic I'd like to discuss here, uh, informants. Um, loosely defined, an informant is someone who provides information to law enforcement in exchange for something else. Uh, there can be anonymous informants, there can be citizen informants, there can be law enforcement informants, and there can also be defendant informants. The last category is something I'd like to spend a little time on. An individual who's been charged with a crime, um, and depending upon the nature of the crime and the circumstances, may have the opportunity to mitigate or reduce the consequences that they're going to face for their crime if they provide cooperation to law enforcement. And the reason this has comes up, as I consider this to be a timely conversation for us to have now, is there's been a lot of press attention lately to informants and to this scandal that's developed through the law enforcement use or misuse of informants within the process of the criminal justice system for certain individuals. I t refer to this generally as the, the professional informant, the professional snitch, the individual who has time and time and time again uh, worked to provide information to law enforcement to reduce the punishment that they face for the crime that they're charged with. Some of these individuals, because they do this on such a repetitive basis, become sort of like a jailhouse lawyer. They sort of know how they can accomplish certain things, and often because they're not, in their own mind, subject to the same restraint as a, a professional individual involved in the criminal justice system, will bend the rules, in fact, break the rules, in order to serve their own personal interest. So society now more than ever uh, looks down on these individuals as bad people, people who should not get any type of recognition because they're abusing the process in the course of providing information and that information is most likely unreliable. Setting aside that topic uh, about professional informants, I'd like to talk about the individual who isn't a professional criminal, who is not a professional informant. The person who has a job, has a family, has friends, and has found themselves charged with a very serious crime. Often that individual may possess knowledge about other criminal activity and other individuals who may be involved in criminal activity and would like to provide that information in order to lessen the punishment that they're facing for the crime they're charged with. These individuals very often it's in their best interest to cooperate with law enforcement and to provide information to them. At the same time, many defense attorneys out there soliciting cases and soliciting business uh, take an attitude or take a position, I don't, uh, I don't uh, represent informants, uh, I, don't, I don't help people to cooperate with law enforcement. As a matter of policy, they, they take a position that um, I will never represent somebody who's an informant. Well, that could be very beneficial to individuals who are the heads of organized crime, uh, who have ongoing criminal enterprises, and are concerned that the people that work for them, if they do get arrested, don't turn against them. And so it may be in the best interest of criminal organizations not to have individuals who inform, not to have individuals who are part of their organization attempt to provide information that would be against their own personal interests. And so when that occurs, when a defense attorney has a policy of not allowing their clients to cooperate, it can disserve that individual client. An attorney who is retained to represent an individual, their primary responsibility is to best serve that client's interest to achieve the lowest possible punishment for the lowest possible charge. At the law offices of Joseph P. Smith, we will represent individuals who cooperate with law enforcement. That decision is made on a one-to-one -one basis. What is in the best interest of this particular client? And if the best interest of that particular client is served by providing information about ongoing criminal activity of other individuals or organizations, then at the law offices of Joseph P. Smith, we will endeavor to serve that client's best interest by mediating and facilitating, and most importantly, 
by ensuring that when that individual does provide valuable information to law enforcement, that prosecutors recognize that contribution and provide them with a lower punishment and a lower offense or a dismissal or any other intermediary uh, result that benefits the client because the client's best interests are what we fight to protect. Call the law offices of Joseph P. Smith and let's discuss your case.